Lab 09 File System API. In this lab, practice file operations with uh, file system interfaces here. First uh, one, file system API with the Windows, using Windows API. The second one, uh, file system classes using C Shop templates are provided. So just read the its comments to see how to compare it. Run it. Then we have uh, three we have uh, seven review questions here. And we go through these uh, review questions. So first let's uh, go through this uh, program. Since you are very familiar with the procedure, so I only uh, explain what we are going to do. And you can follow the steps in the comments to compare the program and run the program. Here please uh, pay attention. If you use a uh, Windows Server 2019, I don't know whether Windows 10 you will contain this as a threat and uh, quarantine it. If so, you need to click the pop-up notice or threat and allow the threat, which means don't uh, quarantine this uh, exe file. Then you run this program followed by a text file name, so you need to create a text file. You just put anything into that text file. Contain any sentences with uh, lowercase uh, characters. For example, you put those files in a hello.txt, then you run this file. And a temporary file name, this one will be generated in the calendar folder. Then you open it and check the contents to see whether all the calculators in the hello.txt they are converted to uppercase right, or caps.txt. This is the functionality of this program. For simplicity, you can just convert this uh, time file dot c right, to see whether all these uh, characters, lower case characters, are converted to a uh, uppercase. Here you see the file system API provided by Windows. Create a file. Get temp uh, pass, close handle, get a temp file name, create file, and a read file, read the contents all from that uh, file. Then we convert the contents, the letters uh, from lowercase to uppercase in the contents. Then we write file. Write the buffer into a file. Close the handle, close the handle, we close the handle of the files and the temp files. Then we use uh, another API, move file, move that temporary file to this file, or caps.txt, to our current folder. That temporary file is created under the system uh, temporary folder. That's why. Windows are considered as a malicious software. Format message, print arrow, these are help functions. Oh, this uh, program demonstrates the Windows API for file system operations. So we just follow this step and run it. You can Change this hello.txt with this temp file.c. If you don't want to create a hello.txt. So, if you uh, do like to create a hello.txt, put it in the same folder as this uh, temp file.exe. You can uh, go online, find any article, and uh, copy and paste it into this hello.txt to see what it does. Uh, looks like you need to show the procedure and show a portion of this all caps.txt 
compare it with the same portion from this uh, hello.txt to see whether all those uh, lowercase in the hello.txt are converted to uppercase in the same portion or this uh, all caps.txt so this is uh, our first file So this is a folder we saved all the online stuff. Yeah. Git patch here. Git pull. Then go to the labs, lab 9, this is lab 9. Okay, the code is uh, here, this is lab 9, where is the code? I just pull it. It says because it's uh, aborted because I modified something in the old folder. So now in this case, we can uh, delete this one. Professor? Uh huh. Is this not being recorded? Uh, it's recorded. Okay. Right, thank you. Uh, we can use any way to download this one. We have demonstrated this uh, many times. So just uh, you can use uh, Git clone if you have trouble. For example, you modified in this downloaded folder. Git clone HTTPS. Git hub dot com. in at s. 330.jt.git Then you go to the lab folder, lab 099, you see the code here. The reference answer for the review questions. You can copy all these things. Can you see? Come back to create a lab 09 and put everything in the new folder. Paste here, then you go to this Windows folder to compare and run it as usual. Visual Studio, open this uh, developer command prompt, copy this location. CD to that place. Here are you see the temp file dot C, right? You see uh, temp file dot C to compare it, and you see temp file dot exe is generated. Now you can run it like this: temp file dot C followed by temp file uh, dot exe. If you don't want to create a hello.txt, just use this temp file.c. Press under. And you see an all cap version of this temp file.c written to this all caps.txt. There are. Now you see all caps.txt. Now you need to share. The portion of these two files. For example, open with uh, real style code. Here is the original file. Here is the converted file. You see all updates, right? Just show a portion. That's uh, good enough. 
to demonstrate you complete this one. Okay, now for the second file, pattern file.cs in C sharp. Here you see uh, how to uh, compile it, how to run it. Now you need to supply a password folder or directory name and uh, target string. What this file uh, does, the following example uses the directory dot enumerate file this method to recursively in enumerate all file names in a directory and a subdirectory that match a certain pattern. It then reads each line or each file and displays the lines that contain a specified string. So with the file names and the paths. This is uh, similar to the command on Linux called grab. That grab used to the similar job. So this is just a simple program to mimic that functionality or grab command on Linux. So you need to uh, supply a folder and put several files inside. Certainly you can use other Folders, for example, just use the folder for simplicity. Use the folder of our ITS three thirty you cloned. Then, what a pass? Uh, what target string you want to look for? Right here, there's a target string. This means this dot means a current folder. We enumerate recursively on the current folder to find any file contains a word this. So you can try several times, change the path name and the target string about and on to see what result you will get. Here the program we use the directory library uh, class and file class. Right? File class can use for read lines, direct can use to enumerate files. So for more information, you can uh, go, go to Microsoft website to find the c -sharp class directory and file to see how to use it. And you can find the description here. So for all your program exercise practice, please add explanation to your screenshots. You can find the explanation from this uh, reference link. For example, this one, the reference link is, pro is also provided. OK, now let's uh, follow these uh, comments to compare and run it right, on Windows. Here we go to the folder called CS. Not there are, you see that uh, pattern file.cs, CSC pattern file.cs to compile it. There are, you see uh, a pattern file.exe is generated. Now, for example, this file I have a word test here. I have, uh, I have what this is here. So certainly you can change uh, other any word, for example, compare Windows and so on. Now let's uh, have a try. Pattern.exe, you use your current folder, is fine. Then type a word you want to search. Zero file uh, found. So now, what's the problem here? Why the zero file is found? I have a file. This source code contains this here. All right? Now you read the the program. Here you see it. It only look for txt file. So rcs dot cs is not a txt file. So that's why I didn't find now. If you 
we want to find add more how could we add more uh, extension here no matter s this uh, source code file or any uh, text file how could we add it? it's an uh, extension here so we can uh, find the official help search uh, in this place the extension how do we uh, specify the search patterns right the search pattern our stream the so search pattern we scroll down to see the search pattern how do we specify search pattern store.ai but uh, let's see how do we specify several extensions Here is the example search for a txt file. Right? Now if we want to add more extensions, how do we separate those extensions? Can see a further example about that. The markers. Okay, in this case, how do we uh, specify? several extensions we cannot find it here we can ask google search for this one we ask for uh, multiple extension when you see this is a popular question people ask for here how do we specify it And there are some uh, provided a uh, solution like this. Right, search pattern, search pattern, search option, and in our code, this is a search pattern, this is a search option. Right? Now the search pattern, and you see here search pattern. How to specify that search pattern? Here, let's check it. Uh, find the search pattern here. We didn't see the put inside the code, right? This part, this one is not put inside here. So let's have a try. Use this ball to separate to see whether it works or not. The uh, logic pattern. Now in our case, For simplicity, you may just uh, copy and paste and change this extension to txt. If uh, we we add something like this, it doesn't work. Star dot cs star dot c Then we can compare it again. Then we search it again.
Now you see a we have a problem, which means that a specification is not uh, the right way to specify that pattern. So if you want to uh, use the Dragix version, there is a uh, search more information and solve this problem. If you don't want to uh, learn more, you can just change this one to dot cs. Then compare and run it. And you see it will show up the pattern.cs and then this is a cotton. It says two files found. Here I have just uh, one file, right? Pattern dot pattern file dot CS. It says two files found. So what's the problem? And also this uh, pattern file dot exe and show up something like this. So how do we confirm the result? Use a uh, f see this this is we have two and it just show the contents do you see it this here is the contents so it's best say two occurrence found not two files found right so it's just a toy program and it shows here this the first line contains this here here is the second occurrence of this, the show up here. And uh, this program, it can enumerate subdirectories. So if your, your folder, for example, the current folder, you create a subdirectory, it can also be uh, traversed and found. Create a subfolder and uh, control C and paste inside here. Then we will find uh, four occurrences. Here we run it again, you will see uh, four occurrences. Right? But it says four files found, which means this toy program does not handle uh, s multiple occurrences from the same file. Here is a result to write out. And you see here, right, subfold, subfold, followed by the pattern dot file dot CS. Okay, this is the program practice. So you are suggested to read the online document, add more uh, explanation. Okay, now the major part, the review questions. The first question reads this article about hard disk drive and a solid state uh, drive on Wikipedia and answer these two questions. Just write a summary. What are the major factors that affect the performance of magnetic uh, disks? We also discussed during the lecture. Right? You can find them from this online. Of course, and uh, do solid state disks suffer from these factors? Uh, after you read these two articles, you will be able to answer these two questions. Question two: Read this article 
disk scheduling algorithms and write a summary about these disk scheduling algorithms. The total we have six here. FCFS, SSTF, scan, scan, look, C look. You can write about their how the scheduling algorithm works and the its advantage and disadvantage can make a comparison. Here is scheduling. And you also from here you see the major factors affect the disk performance, seek time, rotation latency, transfer time, disk access time. As we discussed during the lecture, transfer time can be ignored. Even though the you the seek time plus uh, rotational time and uh, transfer time. And in this scheduling algorithm it only considers the seek time and ignores the rotation rotational latency and transfer time. The scheduling algorithm here for this uh, first come first service here is the request for this water, suppose it's for this water and uh, suppose the current position is 50. How do you solve this uh, scheduling problem? Is better follow these examples to draw an image. Once you be able to draw an image, then you can uh, find the result right away because we, we only need to find the movements, right? the length of these movements. Here, for example, the length of this one is 170 minus 50. The length of this one is 170 minus 43. Right. The length of this one, so you would better draw some uh, vertical lines to make it more uh, easy to read. So, no matter in the in this uh, lab or in the test, you are suggest to draw the image, the movement, the head movement image. Once you get the image, you can get the result right away. So you summarize those uh, algorithms, and for each algorithm, you have an explanation here. Then it uh, discusses uh, advantages and disadvantages. For each algorithm, they follow the same format, and also show you an example. So it's easy for you to compare task two, or uh, question two, right? Read how it works. What's the advantage? What are the advantages and what are the dis uh, disadvantages for each algorithm? Task three. For those examples provided by task 2 or the equation 2, find the total head movements in cylinder for disk scheduling algorithm. This is six algorithm you just revealed here. But with this uh, following disk queue, with a request for error blocks on cylinders here. And when you check this example, the numbers that are not the same, so you need to pay attention. And also, given the disk has 202 cylinders totally, what does it mean? It means the largest cylinder number is 201. Why? It's because the cylinder number starts from zero. And it's uh, currently serving on cylinder 55, so you know it's a uh, current location. Now we have two cases. The first case, the previous block served is on cylinder 4. The second case, the previous block served is on cylinder 60. What does these two cases mean? It means the direction of the header is different. For example, this one, 4 is 55, you from uh, smaller number to a higher cylinder number, which means it's a move to the right side, right here. You check here. You order the number increasingly. This means move right, right, from smaller number to a larger number. Move right, then move left. Move left means from larger number to smaller number. Move left. Here is the, which means you have an initial direction. In this case, 
you see the initial direction does not uh, matter right? because of first come first serve but in other case for example this uh, shortest seek time first the initial direction also does not matter because you always uh, try to find the the next one closest to the current one for example your current location is 50 and uh, from this uh, request which one is the closest you put this number on this uh, line right put this request on this line please pay attention 0 and 199 is the boundary of those cylinders they are not inside this uh, request uh, queue now you see the closest one to 50 is a 43 once you are at 43 you compare 24 and 82 which one is is more is closer to 43 is a 24 right? once you are at 24 you compare 16 and 82 the closest one is 16 then 16 is served then you serve this uh, which one is closest certainly is 82 then you serve 82 then 140 you see this 100 is just a uh, label it's not inside the, the request queue so I suggest you remove those uh, uh, used uh, labels if you draw a, draw a line please only draw those requests and the boundary those two boundary zero and uh, the highest uh, cylinder number here in this, in this example it's the uh, highest cylinder number is 199 in our case it's uh, 201 right? so this is uh, SSTF now for for the C scan, the C scan it always move towards the larger wire, and uh, when it move to the right side, it will serve this request along its way, and when it uh, move to the, it need to move to the end, the far end of the cylinder. Of the disk no matter you have a request or not here at the end then you return you turn your direction and move to the far end of the another end zero right zero even though it's not in your request in this uh, scan c scan they will move to this far end then you move to the right side to serve those unserved requests and these are the requests unserved this is a C scan, means circular scan. It only sell when it um, move right. So you see uh, the initial direction also does not matter in this case because it only uh, uh, in this case the direction. Do you think it matter or not? If the uh, uh, its initial direction is move to the right side. Then it looks like if the move to the left side is the initial direction in the left side, then you need to go to the uh, suppose you are your initial direction to this direction, maybe you are at here at this place, right? You move to the left side and you don't sell anything, then you move to the right for to the right and sell everything. But uh, in some in the textbook book, it consider uh, in this case uh, direction doesn't matter. You know, the initial direction when this algorithm is scheduled, you always the most right. So we we need to uh, follow this uh, convention, which means in this C scan, the direction doesn't matter. We we always uh, move to the right side. For this uh, look here, C scan is this example. And on the next one, the look for this look, uh, it will move back and forth, but it's only to the minimum request and the 
highest uh, request, not to the far end of the disk. So you see, it only move to the largest request, then move to the left, move to the left. And this one, the initial direction matters because it will sell the request along its movement, no matter more to the right or more, uh, more left. C look, for this C look is similar to C scan. It only sell the request when it moves to the right side. Right? Once it uh, sells the highest request, it turn to the left. And when it moves to the left, it uh, does not sell any request. Then, once it uh, reaches the smallest request, it sell it and move to the right side. It only uh, sell those requests when it move right. Then the C look, and we also consider the initial direction will not affect the C look. So the initial direction only affect the look. This uh, look algorithm, which means if the algorithm sell on both direction. One is the look, the other one is the scan. The C scan and a scan. Here there is a scan. For this scan, it also sell on both direction. Okay, now let's uh, keep this in mind. Now let's solve the problem. Here, you, if you draw it on, on paper with any uh, online drawing tools, for example, draw.io, you will suggest to use uh, draw.io to draw out the head movement. Or you use any uh, tool you are familiar with to draw an image is similar like this. Okay, I will use a uh, calc. To solve the problem. Here I just copy the list. Yeah, suppose here is a uh, first come first service. Then I can paste the name here, uh, the request here in the second uh, row. I use a uh, pay special. With the dialog, uh, separated by comma. So put it here. Then uh, change the column width to optimal width. As we discussed, it's better uh, put the leftmost uh, zero, cylinder zero. The rightmost is the highest one. Here, the biggest number in our case is 201. Right? Here, you see it's 201. Now, for the first come, first service, the initial location is 55. So 55, initial location is 55. So 55, uh, first come is uh, 98, right? First come 98, you will move from your initial location, 55, to this 98. Once you are at 98, then you move to the next one, first come, first serve. Right? So you from 98, move to uh, 183. So for, for each column, I start from the bottom to 
to the upper one from the down one to the upper one just like an arrow All right now when once I reached uh, 183 then I move to a uh, 37 so I can copy this uh, list Ctrl C and Ctrl V paste here so you see the movement this is the initial location right once I add the initial location, I move to 90A. Once I add 90A, I move to 100A3. Once I reach uh, 100A3, I move to 37, which means first come, first service. You follow this order. Follow the order from left to right. Once you are at 1, 2, 4, then you move to 65. Once you are at 65, you move to 67. We have demonstrated this one uh, during the class. Right? Now you need to find the moment. The moment is the end uh, minus the start point. So which means 98 minus uh, 45. What do we get? We use uh, this uh, B2. As we discussed, we need an uh, absolute value right? because uh, we need to find the length. So it's B2 minus b3 so this is uh, 198 minus 45 you got we got uh, 43 then you can drag this uh, small dark square to the right side to find all the difference right. this is uh, the length of each movement then we want to find the summation, the total moment. Here we use this sum. So this is the total moment, 638. And you can check the reference solution. Once you are done, you, you may check with the The answer here, 638. Now the next case, the next case is uh, SSTF. Now you can write uh, SSTF here and uh, do your calculation here. Now for SSTF, how do we put these uh, requests? Now except this FCFS, for all other case, we would better put these requests in ascending order. So we, we want to put this uh, request in ascending order. How could we do that? You can do it manually ascending order, put it here. I would like to use Python to sort for us. Right, Python, I have uh, IO request equals and I paste the num here. Then IO dot sort and type IO again. You see it's uh, sorted uh, ascendingly. Then I copy this uh, number. Right click is copied into the clipboard. Now I want to paste here. Please pay attention. Always put the 0 and 201. These are the boundary of the cylinders. So we need to highlight them because they are not in the request. And for the result, you may use another color in this result. This make it more readable, right? Now I paste the, the, uh, the request here. How do I paste it? Again, I need to paste special. Use this uh, dialog. Okay, now everything is pasted here. Ascendingly. Again, we start from 55. 
right? Start from third file. Third file. Which one is the closest one to third file? Third file, you see, third file is closest to a sixth file, right? Third file is closest to a sixth file. Now, once uh, the header moved from third file to sixth file, now you are at sixth file. Then sixth file is left side and right side, 37 and 67, which one is uh, closer to sixth file? Is this one, right? Is uh, 67. So which means once we are at sixth file, then we move to uh, 67. So we put a sixth file here. Now you see whether this uh, table is not easy to to uh, see the movement. If you draw an image, it's very easy for you to see the movement. So that's why you are suggest to draw an image instead of using this uh, spreadsheet. Now once you are at 67, now you compare those unsaved requests on both sides. Which one is closer to 67? Here you can uh, 67 minus 30, you get a uh, 30. And 98 minus uh, 67, you get a 31. Which means uh, 67 is closer to this uh, 37. So that's why we we will move to uh, 37, right? Now once you are at 37, now you compare this uh, 14 and 98. Certainly it's closer to 14. Then once you are at 14, you have no requests on the left side. So you only have unsolved requests on the right side. So you need to move to this uh, 98, 14 move to 98, once you are at 98, you move to 1 to 2, once you are at 1 to 2, you move to 1 to 4, once you are at 1 to 4, you move to a cylinder 1A3, 1 to 4. So in this case, it's very easy to make a mistake, because you, if you make a typo, then you will get a wrong answer, that's why I strongly Suggest you again, please draw a uh, movement image like this. Okay, now let's uh, do the calculation. So it's similar to. Oh, you see, I have a typo here. Right? I have a typo here. When I add 37, the 37 more to 14. So you can double check. So this is very easy to make a mistake. Alright, now we want to find the difference again. Now this time it equals uh, B7 if ABS we need an absolute value. B7 minus B8. Right, you find the difference between uh, 14 and uh, 37. Then we drag this uh, box to the right side to find all the differences. Then we want to find the summation. We select all these things, choose the summation, and we have 234. 234. Then for the scan, For this scan algorithm, C scan, the up one is the scan. This is a scan algorithm. You move left and right, and uh, also you need to move to the far end. Now, for this scan, the initial direction uh, matters. That's why we have two cases. Two cases. The 
again I would like to uh, copy these things Ctrl C copy it now this is scan and we paste it here the first case our initial direction This previous block served is on cylinder four, which means now it's uh, moving right, right, because your your current location is fifty five, and your previous block served is four. So from four to fifty five is moving right, as we just discussed. Now you move right, move right. So sixty five is at the right side of fifty five, your current location. Now you see. Just uh, watch the number is uh, is not easy to imagine. So please draw those uh, uh, movement image. Perfect file. You always move right for in this scan, and you reach the far end, then you move to the right side. So now you come to a uh, once you are at sixth file, then you move to six seven. So in this case, we can uh, copy these things. Gonna see, gonna we paste here. You move from your current location to sixth file, then from sixth file to sixth seven, and so on, until you uh, to this uh, last uh, the biggest uh, request. Then from your biggest request to this far end. So in scan, you need to move to the far end, even though this two zero one is not in your request. Now, once you reach to the far end, you move to the left. Right, move to the left, and uh, along your way, you also serve the unserved. The unserved is 37, so you put a 201 here. Then 37, from 37, you move to 14. Once you serve 14, you complete your stuff, so you don't know, need to move to zero. In this case, right? move right, then move to the right, left. So you are suggest to draw a moment image instead of use this thing hard to uh, find the result. Now, for this one, we have two ways to find the result, just as uh, you see in the image. You only need to find the length of those two moments. Right? Here, one moment from your current, current location to the far end, the far right side. Then from the right side to the uh, smallest uh, request. So we have two ways to calculate the result. The first one, we just uh, find the difference of each moment, then find the summation, as we did uh, before. So this one, x abs uh, b12 minus b13. Right. Here is a uh, row 12, row 13. Then you drag this one to the far right side. Here you find all the differences. Then we want to find the summation. Choose sum. That is a uh, 333. We have another way to find its uh, solution because it had only two uh, here. Right? You can combine all these together, and the length of this part is this 199 minus 50. So in our case, is 201, 201 minus. Our start location is 55 and uh, plus two zero one. You move from the far end right, to the smallest request. Our smallest request is 14, so minus 14. Then get the result. So, what's the result we have? You didn't uh, calculate for me, so I can control C, copy it, paste here. 
right? We get the same result, so we confirmed uh, solution three three three. So this is a scan we have. You are suggest to use this way once you draw the image, draw the moment, finish the moment. Then for the C scan, for the C scan is the circular scan. It only serve those requests when it move to the right side. So we can copy these things. Can just see paste here and change the name to C scan. C scan. C scan. We only served on the right side, so the direction does not matter as we discussed. The initial direction does not matter. So we are uh, initial location 55, right? 55, and you only uh, serve those requests when we move, we uh, move to the right side. So when we start from 55, arrived at 65, then from 65, We will move to uh, 67, from 67 we move to 98 until here, uh, until we add this uh, 183, we move to the far end. Once we arrived at the far end, we move to the left end. This is a C scan. C scan is moved to the left end. The left end is moved to this place, 0. So to, we from 201, moved to 0. Then we move right again to serve those unserved requests. We have only two unserved requests. So we from 201 move to 0. Now we from 0 move to 14. Once we are at 14, we move from 14 to uh, 37. Done. Now we calculate again, we, we calculate the difference first. Here it equals. ABS. Now it's uh, A90 minus A20. Right, the difference. And we find all the differences. Then we find the summation. It's 384. And we confirmed with another calculation method, right? The other way is like this. Once we draw it out, the C scan, the moment, once we finish the moment like this, the C scan, here, do you see it? From the initial location to the forehand, we have uh, three pieces, right? One, two, three. So we only need to find the three pieces. First piece from your current location to the far right side, far right, 201 minus 55, then plus, you, then you move from far right to the far left is uh, 201 minus 0, so just 201. Then plus from 0 to uh, the unserved is 37, right? 37 minus 0 is 37. So this is the uh, total moment. Again, we can copy this one. Use our Python to find the result. It's uh, 384. So we put a 384 here. We confirmed the result. The C scan. Right, 384. Now for the look, for this uh, look, we only serve the requests more left or right. We don't need to move to the far right or far left. So again, we can copy this thing here. Paste 
paste here a quite a look right, for this look for the look we also sell uh, along the way now the initial direction also matters the initial direction is more to the right in case one right? so more to the right we are currently located in 55. So from 55, we move to 65. You wonder why it's 65? Because when you draw the image, draw it out, you will see your 65 is just uh, at the right side of your 55. Again, we need to sell these things, but only to the largest request. Only stop at 183. Can we paste here? Right. You from 55 move to 65. Once you arrive to reach the 65, you from 65 move to 67 and so on. Now, once you are at the biggest request, then we move to the right, left here. Move to the left. But you also sell those unsaved. Those unsaved is uh, the first one you, you met when you move left. Is a 37. So that's why we move from 183, move forward to the way to 37. 183. Once you arrived 37, you from 37 move to 14 and sell the 14. Done. 37. Right? Then you complete your your serving, which means we served all those uh, requests. Again, we, now this time we can calculate the distance first equals ABS. Now this time is B26 minus B27. Again, we can drag to the right side to find all the differences. Then we want to find the summation here. The summation we use is sum is 297. The method 2 here again you can see we have only two segments. So the first segment is uh, its length is 183. Here, right? 183 you minus 35 plus. From uh, 183, you moved to the smallest request, 14. Right? This the uh, 183 minus 14 is the length of this part. Right? The length of this part. You only need the end point. The end point. The right side is 183. The left side is uh, 14. So you only need those two cylinder number to find its length. Can you see? Come here. Right, you get a 297. We confirmed the result. Now for the C look, the C look similar to a C scan and a look, which means we only sell the request when we uh, move to the right side. So we copy this one. Paste here, can we C look, the circular look. Again, we start from 55. Now, from 55, we move to the right side. We and we only save this request to the right side. So, I'm going to copy these things. Going to see. Going to we paste here. Once we reach the logic request 183. In look, we don't need to move to the far end. 
only uh, scan and C scan that need to move to the far end. Now, once we are at 183, we need to move back the C look, right? C look, move back to the smallest one. So we need to move back to the smallest one, check this image. That's why I strongly suggest you draw the image here. Once you add the biggest request, you move to the smallest uh, request. Then you move to right and save those unsaved requests. So we will move to from 183, uh, move to 14, the smallest one. Then you move to the right side and save those unsaved. We have only one, 37, so 14 to 37. Again, we can calculate the difference. Yeah, the difference. How about I draw it like this? See whether we have. No, there's no difference. So we need to type it. ABS. Now this time is B33 minus B34. Again, we can uh, find all the differences. Then we find its summation. And so on, 320, the total moment. Again, we can uh, find uh, the length of these three segments, right? The first segment is 183 minus 55. Plus the second segment is a uh, 183 minus 14. The third segment is a uh, 37 minus 14. Equals. Can you see? Come here. 320. So we confirmed the result. 320. Right. I think I will complete all these uh, to the algorithm. Now, for the second case, for the second case, you see uh, the results, they are all the same, which means the direction does not matter. The direction matters only for this look and this scan, right? the initial direction. In case one, the initial direction move to the right, move right, and in the second case, it are move left. So you, you can complete these two by yourself in case two. So the initial di direction only affects this scan and this uh, look, so you do it by yourself. Now for question four, you read this article and write a summary about fair HBOs and fair operations. You can also refer to the slides we used during the lecture. Here are the slides. Question 5 read this, uh, this article and write a summary about the difference between the two fair access, sequential access and direct access. Six. List out file file system operations that are to be executed on directory. You can find a, a slide describe this one on these two slides. So you only need one here, or right? you need a, from the textbook 10th edition or 9th edition. It's up to you. Now the last question. Explain the access rights all the following users on this file, key.md file, based on the output of command as-l key.md file. And we know this uh, Linux access, uh, right? The first uh, dash means it's a uh, normal file, regular file. Then we have three groups, right? Three letters for one group. The first group for the owner, second group for the group. Here's the second group. The last group for anyone else. We have discussed this uh, during the lecture. Here is a owner. 
the owner of this file is Trump, and the group of this file is White House. Here are the this size and uh, date, time, time, uh, time stamp. And it's known that the group White House consists of these uh, users. Now you are asked uh, this question, can Pence access this file? Here Pence is not inside this uh, group, so which means Pence is uh, anyone else. But for anyone else, you can do it and write that file, but you cannot uh, execute it. Right? So for further information, you can refer to this uh, file permission. Or chapter 11 from this uh, textbook, or chapter 13 from this edition, the latest edition. And there are some explanations here. You can see the owner of the group, access right, and uh, anyone else. Okay, we complete this uh, lab, 09.